Uh, definitely, our guys are excited. You know, anytime you have a win in, in the Lone Star Conference, it's it's got to be a you know a morale booster for you. And our, our guys are had a, had a great practice yesterday, high tempo, and uh, they're excited about the challenge uh, of playing Tarleton this weekend. Right, uh, and we talked about that at halftime too uh, uh, last week against Incarnate Word with with Dakari and CJ going down the first quarter. You know, it was an opportunity for guys to step up and to make plays, and we and we saw Tuan have a great uh, touchdown reception, and uh, some other guys, Talon Smith, played well. You know, so they're, those guys are going to get more opportunities this this weekend, and uh, we're going to have to have a good showing by you know Joey Knight, who's who's become one of our leaders now that those two guys um, are out, but. Um, you know, it's any time that you have an injury, you always want to stress that this is an opportunity for, for someone to step up and start making plays, and uh, uh, nothing's going to change this week. Well, you know, one of Kyle's greatest strength is running the football, and uh, we saw some of that this past weekend. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll continue to do that, get him outside the pocket. You know, he does, he does better uh, when he gets outside the pocket and um, kind of force the hand of the defense and, and put them on the move. And, you know, and, and give Kyle the option to, you know, if nothing's there, to run it and uh, to use his legs and um, become that, that next running back back there for us. Well, I, I think, you know, for our seniors that have put a lot into to the program and, and done a great job leading, this would be a great memory for them uh, to end their career on a winning note. Uh, also to beat Tarleton, we haven't done that since uh, 2000. You know, and for you as a program to beat ACU and Tarleton in the same year would be a huge boost. Uh, to what we're trying to establish here and, and, and give us something that we can really build on going into the off season. Yeah, and Tarleton's got a very good uh, front four, and it starts up with their defense end, Rufus Johnson, number 90. He's, he's a great player, and uh, his presence is known, and it's, he's one of those guys that you got to know where he's at at all times. And so uh, it's going to be a, a huge challenge for our offensive line uh, to be able to establish the run and then to take some pressure off a. Uh, um, you know, Kyle or, or Michael, who will be playing in the back. So, uh, you know, our guys are just going to have to keep plugging along and, and not get frustrated. You know, they're going to make some plays on defense, and we understand that. But um, we got to not get frustrated, and, and you know, well, there'll be opportunities for us to make plays as well. And hopefully, we can get into the flow of things and, and do some things to you know kind of slow those guys down up front. Back here. Well, we got to talk, you know, about you know make sure that we're not giving up the big play and, and we'll do some things to to assure that we don't hopefully and you know the main thing is try to keep everything in front of us and rally and make the tackle um, Tarleton does a great job running the ball and then when they do throw it the ball's off very quickly so you know for our for our d-line that really have success one they're gonna have to stop the run and then and the second thing is you know I, I don't expect a lot of sacks but they got to get pressure just so the quarterback is not comfortable back there and he's throwing off his back foot and if if we can do those things then we have a chance to be successful uh we're gonna send it we gotta we're gonna come we gotta come out and uh and set the tone immediately to uh, if we jump i think if we uh get on these guys early uh, they'll sit down um defensively uh coach walton and his defense staff always put a great game plan together and uh we just have to execute it to the best of our, our abilities and uh, give our offense a chance. And I think if we do that and keep the ball in our offensive hands, we'll, we'll be successful. Yeah, it plays a great factor. I think you just got to let um, – that wasn't my success at all. I didn't do that individually by no means. Um, the, the secondary did a great job covering the guys, and uh, that was buying me time to get to the quarterback. And, again, Coach Walton and his staff put a great game plan together and allowed us to play some games up front. But um, – just preach that, like keep doing your job. You know, we always preached uh, since fall camp, do your 111. You know, if everybody does their job, um, all that stuff will take care of itself. So that's that's the thing we're preaching um, going into this game, just do your job. If everybody does their part, we'll, we'll be in good shape. I think pressure's on, just not on our secondary, just on our defense and just as a team as a whole, because this is hands down the biggest game of this year. Um, but um, yeah, the secondary is going to have to show up. They got they uh, they're very similar to Kingsville, like Tuan said, uh, athletically and whatnot. They have some seat receivers that can go. Their quarterbacks uh, a good quarterback. So um, the secondary is going to have to really just focus and uh, read their keys and hopefully just buy us time. Just just take away a couple reads and maybe the defensive front can get to the quarterback. Uh, there's every moment, man. Uh, I'm going to miss the heck out of my teammates and. Uh, these coaches, I, I got great relationship with these guys. So uh, 
every practice I try to just soak up every every uh, amount of it I can, whether it even conditioning or you're getting yelled at because it might be the last time I ever get yelled at by a coach, you know. So kind of just roll off your shoulder and uh, just go with the flow. And uh, it, it's it's good, bittersweet feeling, but I'm looking forward to what the future holds. I know it means the world to me and uh, probably all the other seniors uh, and it means great to this program. Just me personally and these seniors, I can speak for them. Um, I haven't beat Tarleton since I've been here. And uh, so it is a personal game. And uh, this is probably the last game I'm going to remember. You know, you always have, you always remember the last thing that happened. So this is the game I'm going to be talking about 20 years from now and telling my kids and my grandkids about. So um, you definitely want to go on a, 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 out on a winning note. And for the, for the program, um, we, can have a, we can have a winning season here for the first time since 05. And uh, it can set these, uh, these young guys up right uh, on a positive note going to spring, and they can just hit the ground running. And, uh, and we can give them kind of uh, let the Lone Star Conference know what to expect for years to come with Coach Wagner and staff and the players we got here. Uh, practice has been real good on offense. Everybody's been coming out fired up. Even though we have two of ba- uh, our players go, everybody's coming hard, ready to practice. Got their heads on focus. No uh, players going to have to step up this week. Like Joy, like uh, D uh, Rob, and a couple more players gonna have to step up this week. Oh, Love gonna have to come with the A game because uh, they D Love is pretty tough. So we're gonna have to be really fired on both sides of the ball. I feel like more on the receiver side and also on the tight end. We're gonna be a big factor this week, I feel like. So me and Alex, we're gonna have to come because uh, Dakari and CJ is kind of out this week. And so we put more in tight, like, cause we can play inside, outside, and we can go in the tight. So yeah, we're gonna be big this week. Oh, but for, since I've been here for so long and every year we had to lose a season to the heart, really, this is big for me. And I take this game really personal, so. I'm going to try to get my team involved this week. So, I mean, for a weekend, like, all the series can go out with a good bang and uh, start this dynasty off right. Uh, similar to Kingsville, I feel like. Like, they D-line is real powerful. Like, that's where they get it all started. So, our offensive line, we're going to have a big test this week. So, we're going to have to come with it. Oh, man, Kyle. <laughs> like, me and Kyle, man, that's – man. He's a good kid. I like him. He's. I, I feel like he's going to be a big factor in this program in a couple of years. But Kyle brings. I, I feel like he gets the uh, the huddle fired up. Like everybody believes in him, and everybody looks up to him. So yeah, I'm really, I'm really big ups with him. Well, we we kind of we feel like we all in the, we on the same bridge, and this is big to come out in third place. And Tarleton, I know they feel like this is a rival towards them. And every time we play Tarleton, they seem to bring that A game. So it's going to be real big. So we got to be focused this week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we have Kyle Watson since he's like a dual threat. He can run the ball and put pressure on the defense. And also we get, when uh, the defense kind of come down on us and stuff, you can also look to pass it. So 